guys, Retrotech Ralph here. I'm going to do a tear down, rebuild, reclean of a Sony PlayStation 3 wireless controller, the six axis one to be exact. Now, this has finally come today. I'm not happy with it. It's a bit used. I should have not been as tight to be honest, but it's very sticky. The left thumb pad doesn't center the right one does right one's fine it doesn't center back and the center bit there spins so it looks like the rubbers took itself off or it's just covered in goo anyway but i'm gonna strip this down see inside now i finally got one of these because i've got the poo two ps threes and that's too large yeah the two ps threes and I've actually got another one I need to do a bit of service from for a work uh, work colleague. So stripping down looks easy enough. One, two, three, four, five screws. I'm gonna get this down to bare minimum. One. Tried charging this with a cable, it doesn't seem to want to charge too well. So I'm guessing it's just everything just covered in go. Yeah, I don't like it, I'll get on with it. That's three, four, and five. Now, this should pull away from that. Oh, look at the crap. Between there. Right, is this secret one? I don't feel like there is. There goes one button. Everything's getting in the sink. It's absolutely disgusting. This. Here we go. Right. Don't know what that was. <laughs> Battery in the back. I've got another pair of batteries coming soon. I've ordered. Oh, it's not even black, is it? It's just a see-through. It. Do you think Sony just made really, really cheap controllers? Or cheap plastic on the controllers. And the PlayStation 3 was out in God knows what. I had one of these when I had a different life, a different place. But where does that go? Da da dum, da da dum, da, nope. Oh, come on, Rob, does it go up here? No. Nope. It goes between the controllers, right, okay. So it's that piece there, then on there, okay. So it goes in, right. Remember that for later? These pieces go in, hold that button in place. So I need to clean that. Oh, come on, you're joking me. That will have to go around that, nope. Right, just need the electrics out of here then. Screws on this are as follows. One there. Two bigger screwdriver. Wow. These are tiny. I'll go that way. That. that one there will do it. Any more? I'm just the one holding this in, can it? Ooh, jelly. Okay. And those come off. That's just covered in crap inside there, isn't it? There's a damn good oil. Might hopefully come back. If not, I have got. A PS2 controller that could possibly take this off. This is obviously the left one, people playing with the left all the time. So it's hardly surprising it's not exactly working right. Might be able to get it working with. No. Yeah, we'll just give it a good clean. So clean, clean. Pot. Clean, clean, clean. Two buttons. Two end bits, two buttons, mm. back, front, anything else come off that? No, that's a solid piece, that has all the um, buttons in it, 
that also does get them all out everything again cleaned including the ps button done where does that go hmm Okay, we'll figure it out. What I want for a go anywhere is maybe to take one of these off. Is it advisable to take that off? On a spring. No, I'll hand clean that one. I think these actually use a, a flat membrane. Oh, this is so, so 1980s. Can we get that off? No, because that membrane is on the board. Let's leave that. I need to clean this idea anyway. So what I want to do is, while that's off, I'm going to plug, I'm going to plug it and put the battery in. Yeah. Because this battery, I think it's flat. If it's not, it's broke. But it doesn't want to charge without the... Um, Without it being plugged in and switched onto a system. But like I said, I've got two more batteries coming. So I've ordered a second controller for this. Hopefully, it should be here soon. But I'm not convinced that the batteries are going to come from China really quickly. Now... Do anything, it's going to seal across, do a cross stem into it. So, let's see. I thought they charged up by it would show that all the time. Let me try something. Unplug that. So, I'm not convinced this is actually working. Come on, stop moving, will you? I'm going to rip the batteries out. I'll come back to this one in a second. And just pause you. Okay, that's stopped doing it. Now let me just test that the battery has got a little bit of charge in it. Yeah, I might be charging when we're doing that. So what I'm going to do is charge that up. Everything will be coming with me to get cleaned. Because it's bloody disgusting. I don't know where that small square bit goes, but I'm sure I'll find out in a bit. So I'll be back in two minutes. All right, all pieces back from the cleaners. A little bit wet. I'm going to leave them out to just dry for a little bit. Be absolutely certain. It's probably best leaving them overnight, but... They're only um, PlayStation bits anyway, so it's not fully essential. So I'll put them out here. Some little tiny bits. Not entirely sure what they are. Maybe I should have put a note of what these are supposed to be. <laughs> yeah, that's not my way, is it? Right, so these are all done and done. Before I put these back in, I want to, um... Ah, they're not everywhere! No, they are. I'm only joking. I want to see why this thing doesn't want to power up. Well, it doesn't seem to do much on the stick here. So, tool back. Alcohol out. I'm not fully fussed with that one, but I want to get this. Oh no. I think. I'm just gonna give a. What's that over here? Is it more goo? There might have been a bit of goo on there. Oh, I'm in mean, just. Clean down a little bit inside do any harm just alcohol now these bits I'm a little iffy with I 
Let's sit down for this. There were some bits on there. There's a bit more spring on. A little bit more spring in that one. Um, try WD. Put a cloth down first. I'll take that battery off. Yeah, the springs are not going back right. I don't want to go back to the right properly. So how to take this to pieces? Hmm. I don't know. I can think of just doing this for a bit, trying to see if I can free it. Can't do any harm on the um, on the board. See, it's sticking there. The button's working fine. Can't see any full wear and tear on that. It just looks perfectly normal. I need to strip that down, you know. Which is unfortunate because I don't want to do that. <coughs> so what I need to do is take the buttons off of the ribbon cable which is under here. Small screwdriver, try and prise up. No, I won't do that. I have to pull it out. It's going to be a nightmare to get back in again afterwards. Um, <clears throat> hmm. Okay, <clears throat> maybe not that much of a nightmare after all then. <clears throat> okay, so we're down to the board. Barely the board. A little bit in there anyway. I think something must have broke on that. Front looks fine. Side looks fine. Back looks fine. And that bit looks. Hmm. Something missing in there. You know, I'm going to give this a bit of clean, scrub down and stuff and get back to you if I can find anything. If not, I might have to, um, oh, both of them are doing it. I have to replace it. Could just be just dirt and stuff inside there. I'll get back to you in a minute. Right, that's about as much clean as I think I'm going to do on this. Give it a good oil in. Give the other parts an extra clean as well. And the fire buttons as well. Um, I suppose I can change that when the new batteries come so I can just dismantle this afterwards. Uh, I've managed to fix this. This just spun round. I managed to take the um, rubber off. Doesn't feel exactly like it should have done, but the rubber comes off. It's very delicate because you have to fold it inside out to try and get the bloody thing off. And I'll just glued it in, in as it is. A little bit clean, I think. But I'm going to put this on pad two. So it won't be really noticeable. And on the right thumb pad, shall I say, because I'm left handed. Sorry, I'm right handed, but I use my left thumb. Yeah, I'm normal. So it's just a little oily at the moment. So I'm going to start reassembling. I've oiled both up. 
Let me just get this over here. Better. I think it's just crudded up to be honest, especially the left left stick. It seems like the person I'd put a guess that the person who had this joystick, joypad before, um probably like football. Because they're absolutely knackered from football these. When I was a kid, when we had my um, 2600 Atari, there was a game called Track, and it wasn't Track and Field, it was um, Daily Thompson's Decathlon. Absolutely loved playing it. However, the motion of moving the joystick from left to right in front of your parents really wasn't um, flattering. That's better. Better. Way better. Yeah, because you're holding the jut. Demonstrate, shall we? Because you're holding like that, like, and you're just... You know what I mean. Dirty minds. Right. So, reassemble it is just the reverse of what we've just done. So, let's do this quickly, shall we?
You know I said I've got a second controller coming. So I'm changing the batteries on it. God, never again. Absolute nightmares. So um yeah, it's, it's them. You have to put the you keep the triggers off, obviously. Keep more keep them as they are, because it has a pain in the ass. Putting the spring back on, so if you can keep them on, leave it. Maybe use some cellar tape or something. Anything just to keep them on. Once it's on, it's these bloody things. You need to get them sliding inside the body of the, the top, well, of the base bit. Then there's that plastic part for this button here. I couldn't figure out where that went. Then there's a rubber part which covers the back, stops it bleeding light inside here with the back of that. It, it, so many videos on YouTube that have got so many different variations and what's that? So many different variations to the controllers. It's just absolutely ridiculous. Well, that's still flashing, so let's keep that on charge then. But yeah, that's <laughs> that's how you disassemble a PS3 controller. Next, I'm going to go for a PS4. Not a controller, let's go for the PS4. That's got to be easier than that. Has to be easier. So, what I thought would be a quite, quite quick two minute video has turned into a bloody nightmare. But as you can see, flashing away. I think I lost something. As you can see, it's flashing inside. That's where that um, rubber thing fell off. It's inside. I'm going to leave that because I'm going to change the battery on there anyway. So, I'm going to put that on. It should be. Inside somewhere, but that's fell off on there. It's not doing anything with the buttons. Both feel fine now. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Thanks for watching. And, um, yeah, I'm going to bed now. Night. Mm.